subscribe to tech to tricks and click the bell icon to get notified on the latest tech videos hey guys what's happening this is your host haven raj and welcome back to another episode of tech to tricks hope that you are familiar with my older tech tutorials so in this episode let us learn how we can flash the twrp on the u euphoria that being said let's get started In this episode, we are not going to use any sort of commands to flash the TWRP and root the device. We are just going to use some simple softwares, even a noob can do this. So getting started, first go to the link in the description. In case you are new to the YouTube and don't know where is the description box, then this might be in hand help of you. Scroll down to the running video and you will find a description box. Click on the show more and you will find the links attached right there. And once you click on the link, you'll be redirected to this page and right up in here, you can find a download button, click on that and your file will be downloaded like this. So open up this file using a WinZip and extract these files to any destination. I am selecting up the desktop for this purpose. So once the files are extracted, you can see all the files on my desktop like this. Double click on the PDNet setup and run it. And this installs a set of drivers onto your PC and lets your PC to connect to your phone. Click on the next. I accept the agreement. Next. 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 Yeah. It's done. It's registering up, patching the installation, finishing the installation. So there you go, the additional setups. Right in here, the setup will install up the drivers for you. Now disconnect your phone from the PC and select up your phone manufacturer. For us it is others because there is no U company listed up here. Because it's definitely a small company, they are not gonna list all the companies on the driver selection panel. So click on the OK. Select up the others and click on the OK. Now click on the install. Now you need to enable the USB debugging from the developer options and this is how you can do that. So once you have opened up your phone, scroll and open up the settings panel and find the about phone in the settings and tap in the build number until you find a pop-up that you have enabled the developer settings. Now go back and open up the developer options and right there enable the advanced reboot. Scroll down and disable the update Synogen recovery and enable the android debugging now click on the ok for now the software only asks the android debugging but we are doing all this for the further purpose now it's updating and setting up the network drivers and if you find an option like allow usb debugging on your phone like allow the key fingerprint of your pc now select up always allow and click on the ok Once done, you can click on the continue and you need to wait until the setup completes and finishes it up. It is still updating the PDNet on your phone. So wait until this completes. It's finalizing the installation. Now you can see the installation is successful and you can see a new icon in your icon tray. Click on the finish button to exit the setup. From now on you can see a new dialog box whenever your phone gets connected to your PC. Now double click and open the folder and right here you can find a set of files from which you can flash the TWRP. So in this folder you will also find the TWRP image that is pre-settled. Previously we have enabled the advanced reboot in the developer options just like this. So. Now whenever you power off your device and click on the power off button, you can find some options like reboot, soft reboot, recovery and bootloader. Now select the bootloader and click on the ok and once you are done you will be booted into the bootloader mode. Now connect up your USB and enjoy the flashing. And to get started with this you need to simply double click and open the step 1 unlock bootloader. Now click on the run button and it will ask you to press the volume up key to confirm. Now press the volume up key on your device to confirm the unlocking of the bootloader. 
once you are done it will erase up all data and and once successful you can go to the second step of rebooting or you can go to the third step that is flashing up the twrp and once you double click on the flash twrp your twrp should be flashed onto your device and next time you boot into your recovery mode the twrp will be there you can upgrade to the latest version of the TWRP 3.0 by following up my next tutorial. So make sure you stay tuned until then. So that's it for this video guys. If you found this video helpful then please drop a like and if you have any queries then you can comment down in the comment section below. And if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed to our channel then please click the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. And you can click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. You can explore to the Tech2Tricks channel to watch more and more tech videos like this.